Time to unleash some real monkey business. Stay tuned for it. Hello there, YouTube, and welcome out there, and welcome to another random review with me, Random Ross. So, today I'm reviewing War for the Planet of the Apes, uh, written, directed by Matt Reeves, and co-written by Mark Comback, Bombback, starring Andy Serkis, Woody Harrelson, and Steve Zahn, am I pronouncing that right? Um, so this is the ninth installment of the Apes franchise. Um, I mean, it's the third installment in the prequels. Um, or reboots, prequel reboots, let's see. Um, so this is like, not long after War for the uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, how it ended and that. Um, where Caesar and his apes are at war with the humans, uh, led by the Colonel, played by Woody Harrelson. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, a bit like Battle for the Planet of the Apes, um, you know, where the prize is whatever is left of the Earth. So let's get down to my likes and dislikes. Um, so what I like about this a lot, I liked, I liked it from start to finish. Um, I like the story, I like the whole story. I like how this has been like a trilogy, you know, having Caesar as the main character and that. Um, but Andy Serkis says he, he's not doing anymore, but he has said that the franchise isn't over yet. They've announced a fourth film. Uh, so, a fourth prequel in the franchise, um, which I think, which I look forward to. This one for me, I think, is a lot more action packed than the other two. So, um, you know, Caesar's getting on now, getting on a bit now. He's old, his fellow apes, and that. The only one, the only trust, loyal ape he has is Maurice, who's a big orangutan. There's also, um, Rocket as well, who's been with him through thick and thin, still haunted by the thought of Koba, who was like the war mongler ape in the last film. Um, but yes, this is I I like the effects as well. The effects were were brilliant. The story was brilliant. Everything about this was great. My dislikes though, uh, I. I'm trying to think of a dislike. I didn't like how the whole final battle bit ended. How it just ended with the avalanche. You know, and... You know, how we never got to see that really much of the other soldiers that took over the the main soldier's base. Um, or anything. Um, but yeah, it was a happy enough ending, like the... Rise of the Planet of the Apes, because none of the Planet of the Apes movies ever had happy endings, except for Battle of the Planet of the Apes and Rise. Uh, this one was happy, but yet it was sad. Um, you know, it was a happy, sad ending, you know, because I don't want to give away too much, but I can't recommend this film enough. It is a great film, great prequel. I think the... I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I think these prequels in the past recent years have been better than the originals. I really do, because there's been more action in it. We have better technology now, better CGI and all that. I mean, I still like Roddy McDowell in the 
taking the lead in the series. Um, so yes, um, but War for the Planet of the Apes. Time to uh, to uh, give you uh, my. I can't think of any dislikes uh, apart from what I've just said. So final thoughts and ratings. So this was a great film, great instalment in the series. So for all that being said, I am going to give War for the Planet of the Apes a four out of five. That is that is that's it. So um, this has been my review on War for the Planet of the Apes. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, you know, did you like this film? Uh, you know, do you want to see another movie? Um, yeah, and yeah, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you're new here, and to hit that big red notification bell down as you know as well so you can get notified every time a new video is uploaded to the channel so yeah till next time i bid you all a goodbye friends goodbye